Hello and welcome to this episode of Cosmic Crow Terra, where today we're going to be talking about the number two. You know, this is a number that has a lot of energy connected to it. The best way to put it is uh, feminine energy, you know, high priestess, that kind of thing. And I always want to, like, when I, the two energy comes up, it's always, for me, kindness, compassion, empathy, thought process, choices, balance, partnership, and intuition. You know, that does relate to feminine energy. The more we trust ourselves, the more we have compassion for ourselves, the kinder we are to everybody you know, the more we can trust our inner voices and our intuition. So in this video, we're just going to talk about all the twos of the tarot. You know, the more we connect with the numerology aspect of the cards, the more we can really learn how to read the tarot. So let's begin with the Major Arcana, starting with the number two herself, the High Priestess, sitting between the pillars of Boaz and Joaquin, you know, the Temple of Solomon, that's where this is believed to have come from, and all those pomegranates show how much she can birth into life, how much she can just trust herself, and all of those intuition, intuit, what's the word I'm looking for, intuitive thoughts that she possesses, that she can use to create something, because two is the number right before the three, so that feminine energy connected with that one of the action of the masculine, that is what creates the energy of the empress. But we're not talking about the empress today. We're talking about this woman right here, the one that holds the Torah right between her arms. She's got the moon down there, so her emotions are right there with her, and she's got the moon, the different like aspects of the moon on her head as well in that crown. So it shows how much she can trust herself, how much her emotions have, uh, help her. She's even got the cross on her chest, showing everything that she has learned from the past. Like I said before, the Boaz and the Joaquin of the the, um, the pillars right there, the black and white, she knows that life isn't all of black and white. She learns from history as well as her own history. You know, history of humanity, all the things that have occurred. She learns from this so she can trust herself. And that's the energy of the two, you know, having compassion for yourself, having compassion for the ones that came before us, learning from those experiences so we can really trust our intuitions. That's what I feel like the two is really about. Two is also an energy of choices. So when it comes to choices, the more we trust our intuition, the more we learn from our experiences as well as the experiences of the people that have come before us, the more we can trust ourselves and trust our intuitions to make the choices that feel right to us, for, for right to us. Um, like love and empathy and all of that is kind of connected to the energy of two as well, I feel. And you show that like love that we have for ourselves, that love we have for others, that feminine energy within us that can give us that power to trust our choices, trust our intuition, and have that partnership that we have with our higher selves. So we can really trust ourselves whenever we face anything in life. And that's what the High Priestess to me is all about. This is the tarot card of tarot readers everywhere. It shows that, that power that we have to learn from the things that we see, learn from the pictures that comes with the tarot deck, learn from our own experiences. All of that is connected to this energy of two. You know, right after the action, it's not just action that is needed to bring our ideas into reality. It's that action and thought process, and the thought process is the key right here. The thought process is the energy of the two, thinking things through. Think of the man and the woman that create life itself. It takes the man's seed to put into the woman, but it's the woman's womb that creates this life, that has this time of incubation, so it can bring this life into reality. And the same energy is there with the high priestess, you know, she thinks things through. She's not letting her emotions overwhelm her. She's not letting anger and just sadness from the past hold her back. No, she's calm and collected in the present, learning from those experiences so she can really trust herself as she moves forward. So that's probably the biggest energy of two in the tarot, but we've got so much more to go. So we're going to set the high priestess, you know, over here. Yes, that'll work right there. So we still have her energy. We're going to move on to the next card of the Major Arcana that connects with the energy of the two. And that would be Justice. Now, Justice, as we can tell, is 11. But what is 11 but double that of the 1? One? 1 and 1 equals 2. That's simple math. So Justice very much connects to that High Priestess with that energy. And instead of, you know, having this Torah right here in her hands between the pillars right there, our Justice is still sitting between the pillars. So he's still got, or he, she, whoever it is, has that energy of that experience, like that balance. Balance is key here with justice. And as I said, with um, the energy of two, kindness, compassion, empathy, thought process, choices, balance, partnership, see, balance is partly in there. So we have that energy that they are balanced. They are calm, collected, just like that high priestess was when we began with. And all the red and everything there kind of reminds us that 
the more we're passionate about something, the more we can trust ourselves and feel balanced when we make the right choices for ourselves. So he's got the sword of truth. That's what I always call the sword over here. And it's, um, what would be that? The right hand? Yeah, because he's facing us. So that would be the right hand. And then the left hand, he's got the balance of the scales, yeah, connecting to his astrological correspondence of Libra. So he's not only fair to himself, he's fair to others as well. And he follows his truth. And the more that we follow our truth, the more we can have compassion for ourselves, kindness for ourselves, and kindness for others, empathy with people, and learn from our experiences so that we can be fair to ourselves. And the more we're fair to who we are, the more the universe, our powers that be, however you want to see it, the more they start being fair to us too. So taking that time to really look within, that is the energy of the two. It's having that time to trust our intuition so we can feel balanced inside and out. That is the energy of the two. Double that of the, um, the magician because you've got that 11 there. So I always kind of like to see this as the card, like all those experiences we began in the past, all those things that we've done, all the situations that we had to be a fool for and begin before, you know, that strengthens our intuition. That's how we learn how to be fair to ourselves because we pick ourselves back up. You know, 11 follows the wheel of fortune in the major arcana, showing we spin that wheel and we start being fair to ourselves. We can make the choices that feel right to us. So that is the energy of justice there, very much the energy of the two, having compassion and kindness, not only for ourselves, but for others as well so we can really trust our intuitions and intuition thought process choices all of that good stuff that is very much the energy of two so we're going to set 11 there right beside the high priestess and move on to the final card of the major arcana that is connected to the energy of two and that would be judgment xx 20 of the major arcana the final step before we meet the success and feelings of being on top of the world with the world card that completes the major arcana before we start over again with the fool now you have this illustration here everybody is you know completely naked and ready to like give themselves so the angel up there that has the um the what is this like the health flag or something like that you know off the top of my head i don't have the exact answer for that and the trumpet you know judgment is called just judgment is coming so they have to judge themselves fairly and forgive their past that's the energy of judgment so they can achieve that success and wealth of the world so the energy of two here with zero of the fool, you know, you've been fools for things in the past. You've experienced things in the past. You've, um, you know, good things, bad things, all of it in general, no matter what it might have been, you experienced it. Now, if you're letting that hold on to that and letting that pain hinder you, then you're not embracing that energy of the high priestess. You're not embracing the justice and being fair to yourself. We have to forgive the past in order to trust our intuitions. You know, a lot of things like the high priestess knows, those are things that are out of our control. Those are or things that happen throughout history that still leave a bad taste in our mouths that we might not be able to overcome. But if we're able to have overcome that, we're able to have that kindness and compassion for ourselves and kindness and compassion for the ones, you know, that are still out there, the ones that even did this. Forgiveness. Forgiveness is key here. And to find forgiveness is to find love within so that we can put love out there. So the more we judge ourselves fairly, the more we focus on the here and now, the more we can trust our intuitions and trust ourselves when we forgive that past and learn the lessons that it has to teach us. That's why judgment sits here at the end of the major arcana before we meet the success and the wealth of the world. The way to create that success and wealth of the world, to feel on top of the world, is to judge ourselves fairly in the present and trust our intuitions. Trusting our intuitions involves learning from those experiences that have left that bad taste in our mouths, learning from the people that have come before us, learning from our own histories so that we have the lessons within us so we can trust our intuitions and make the choices that feel right to us. So those are the major arcana cards related to the energy of the two and we're going to move right on here to the twos of the minor arcana. We have the two of wands, the two of cups, the two of swords, and the two of pentacles, all of which connect back to these cards up here. Two of wands, this is the card that I call the should I stay or should I go card. You see the yellow of the background and everything. They're thinking about what they want to do next, what they want to create next. And the energy of this two, that very much connects back to that high priestess. You know, 
trusting our intuitions to make the choices that we need to make in our lives. That's an energy of two. Like I, I keep going back to that rambling that I say with the energy of two, kindness, compassion, empathy, thought process, choices, balance, partnerships, and intuition. The more we trust ourselves, the more we trust our intuitions, the more we feel balanced and trust ourselves, the more we learn from those experiences of the past, the more we can trust ourselves when it comes to making the choices that we're passionate about. And that's the energy of the two of wands here. It's the, like I said, it's the two of two little ones should I stay or should I go card so it's really taking that time to trust ourselves and being fair to who we are learning from those experiences so we can decide where it is we want to go next what makes that inner fire within us burn brightly you know have compassion for ourselves have empathy for ourselves learn from those experiences so that we can take the world on and make our lives what we want them to be two like I said com precedes the number of three so the energy of three that creativity and creation itself it takes this time to make the choices that we need to make so we can really trust ourselves and our inner voices but being fair to ourselves and learning from those experiences so we can trust our intuitions more so that's the energy of the two of wands the two of cups is next i'm putting these in this sequence like you'd see of the year you know aries that would be that one cancer would be the next one in this sequence followed by libra and then capricorn so you know that's the year ahead um the two of cups is next and this one's all about partnerships and that's one of the energies of two like i said kindness compassion empathy thought process choices balance partnerships and all that good stuff so that energy there and you see that in that connection there. You see the female and you see the male. Masculine and feminine energies coming together to find that creativity, that creative potential that they possess together. And look at the woman's um, attire here in this illustration. It's very much the same colors that we see with the high priestess. And I think like blue is more of an energy of like logic. So the more we think logically, the more we trust our intuitions, you know, kind, calm, and collected. That is the energy of the justice and the energy of the high priestess showing that calm and collected when we take the time to learn from our experiences. So we think about this one, emotionally fulfilling partnerships. We think of that energy with that masculine energy right there, the male and the female coming together, that external love that we have for somebody else that just has our backs. But when it comes to true partnerships, the ones that are the most fulfilling, there's nothing quite as powerful, nothing quite as fulfilling as that partnership we have with our higher selves. That's where the high priestess comes in. That's where justice comes in. That's where judgment comes in. That energy of forgiving ourselves and loving who we are so that we can trust ourselves and feel fulfilled and complete in our own lives, within ourselves, so that we can trust ourselves to make the choices and follow our hearts and what we want to do. Now, um, I always point out, like, when it comes to the lovers and the two of cups, like RuPaul says at the end of every Drag Race episode, if you can't love yourself, how in the hell do you expect to love somebody else? So when you love yourself and you trust your intuition, then you can trust yourself and your intuition to find love with somebody else. So that's the energy of the Two of Cups, very much connected to these cards as well, showing that love we have for ourselves and that love we have for others. The more we trust ourselves, the more we can trust our mind to make choices as well. So the energy of the Two of Swords, much like the energy of the Two of Wands, is very much about um, taking the time to look within, to decide what we really want to trust our intuition so that we can decide what choice we want to make next now in this illustration we have the ocean of emotion behind the character she's got the swords there you know crossed in front of her just like that sword up there in justice and like i said justice and libra or two of cup or excuse me two of swords are all connected to libra so there's that fairness and balance there and a lot of times librans are very focused on the happiness of their significant others than they are themselves wanting them to succeed so when they put that forth to have um, balance and stuff for others they need to have that energy for themselves as well there is no other character in this illustration like there is in this one this one's off by himself he's taking that time to look within and she's doing the same thing she's blindfolded she's not giving into the distractions she's taking that time to look within so she can trust her intuition trust her mind and use logic in order to decide what she wants to do next now very similar to the high priestess here look at the illustrations look at the dresses there they're very much the same color just like hers is that blue and white you combine that blue and white you've got this 
really light blue here. So they're all connected in that energy in that too. So the more we trust ourselves, the more we have kindness and compassion for who we are, the more we make the right choices, the more we let love into our hearts, the more we can trust ourselves and our intuitions to make the choices that we want to do. That's the energy of the two that I'm trying to point out here is having compassion for we, who we are, taking that time to look within and trust our intuitions in order to decide what we want to do next. The more we're calm and collected, this character's calm and collected, this character's calm and collected, this character's calm and collected, they even seem calm and collected as well. Maybe not so much this guy or this guy, but that's beside the point. Being calm and collected, the more we can trust ourselves, the more we can remain calm and collected, the more we can trust our intuitions to make choices in our lives. So taking that time to look within, having compassion for ourselves, kindness for ourselves, kindness and compassion for others, empathy, thought process, you know, taking that time to think everything through will help us make the choices that we want in our lives. And that's the energy of two, taking that time to look within, to trust our intuitions, to make the choices that we need to. The more we can trust ourselves and our intuition, the more we can feel balanced and be able to take on more than one thing at a time. You know, two of, um, two of Pentacles, that is the card of balance, very much like the justice up there, showing that ability that even when things are crazy, we're still in control because we're staying calm, we're staying collected, and we're trusting our intuition. Now, the astrological correspondence to this one is the one I always like to point out because it's a very, very crazy time of year. The Two of Pentacles is astrologically connected to the first deacon of Capricorn. So we have that energy right there of... Well, crazy times, because you think about that first deacon, that first week of Capricorn season, December 21st to December 31st, or yeah, um, December 21st to December 31st, that is correct. Um, you have that energy right there, and you have um, Christmas, you have Christmas Eve, you have, um, I think Kwanzaa's in there too, Hanukkah's around that time, and um, New Year's. So you have all this energy, all these things that you have to balance in order to stay collected, calm and collected and make sure everybody around you is happy. So that energy right there, life is crazy. Life is moving quickly. Things are getting out of control, but you've done this. You've experienced this. See the infinity sign right there? You've done it time and time and time again. And all of those experiences, all of those lessons learned, when you've forgiven yourself for the past mistakes and learned the lessons they had to teach you, when you're fair to yourself and you trust that intuition, that you can do that balance act that's needed done so that you can find what you want to create next, find what you want to do next. Trust yourself and your intuition and you can do anything. I just noticed like, you know, I do these on the fly. I like doing them like this because, you know, you're getting exactly what I'm saying. Um, you know, I didn't script it or anything like that. But all four of these uh, minor arcana cards, they're all the beginning of the cardinal signs. Take the Aries one here, the beginning of the zodiac, that cardinal fire. The more like the cardinal energy, not being afraid to begin things, the more we trust our intuitions, the more we can do what we want to do, the more we can trust our intuitions and begin what we want to begin. Because we've taken that time to have kindness for ourselves, compassion for ourselves, empathy for ourselves. We can trust our intuitions in what we do. So two of wands, that's Aries energy cardinal. Two of cups, that is energy cardinal cancer. Two of wands, or two of swords is cardinal Libra. And the two of pentacles is cardinal Cabra. Capra. <laughs> Capricorn. So you have that fire, you have that water, you have that um, air, and you have the earth. Having all of that energy, all of that trust, and all of that balance within is how we trust ourselves, be fair to ourselves, and learn from those experiences or past so we can find that success and wealth of the world. Those are the twos that we think of of the major arcana, but I promise you we are not done yet. Because the pages of the court also connect to that energy of the two. After all, they follow that 10. They follow the completion of the um, the suits before we hit the court. They're the beginning of the court, which relate them very much to this 11 of justice because the page of wands would be 11, the page of cups would be 11, the page of swords is 11, and the page of pentacles is 11. Showing that energy of all those experiences we've done before, all those lessons learned so we can take action on our ideas in the present and trust our intuitions. Page of wands, page of wands is ready to embark on on a new path, embark on the path that he is passionate about. He's got those salamanders on his coat, you know, being able to shed their skin and shed their tails and be reborn so they can do something new. So focusing on where he wants to take that walking stick and walk towards next, what lights his inner fire, he can trust his intuition because he's learned from his experience of the past page of cups you know he's weird he's fun he's literally talking to a fish one of my favorite i think he is my favorite 
um, page because it just reminds you, you not only to have compassion for ourselves and for other humans, have compassion for those animals too. Be kind to everything that we meet and life will be more kind to us. So the page of cups, he trusts himself too. He's not in that ocean of emotion. It's wavy behind him, but he's out of it. He's in control. He's calm and collected because he feels whole and complete within, within himself. And he can trust his intuition and move forward because he's learned from those experiences in the past. And his emotions are filled with joy and positivity, telling him that he can make the choices that he wants. He can begin whatever fills him with joy because he trusts himself and his intuition to make the choices that feel right to him. The Page of Swords is a card that I call the card of useful information. And that useful information that comes from those experiences that we've forgiven, that we've been fair to ourselves. And the more we trust our intuition and learn from those experiences, that is how we can trust our intuitions and clear those clouds out of our way so we can trust our minds to lead us to where we want to move forward. And the Page of Pentacles, he's all about focus. That's what I see with this particular illustration, you know, Rider Waite Smith, 1909. So many decks out there are based on this deck right here. It's one of the greatest creations of all time. You know, Tara Reader is definitely one of the greatest creations all the time. But the Page of Pentacles, you can see here, he's focused on one thing. He's focused on that pinnacle. He's focused on what he wants to begin next. And how can he decide what he wants to do next? How can he let that focus grow into something more? He can trust his intuition because he's learned from the experience of the past. He's forgiven the past and he's fair to himself in the present. So that is the energy of the two. It shows how much kindness, compassion, empathy, thought process and choices, everything, all that energy of the two, having that power to think things through. That is the energy of two to, to me. And the more we trust ourselves, the more we trust our intuitions, the more we have kindness and compassion for ourselves, the more that we can achieve our, um, our goals and achieve whatever we want to begin. So two is a very, very powerful number. Two is one of like just having trust in ourselves, having compassion. The more love we have, letting love lead us in the things we do, the more we can do what we want to do next. So trust yourself. Trust your intuition in everything you do. Trust that in inner high priestess. You know, get the cards out yourself. To look at the pictures. Trust that you have the answers within you and learn from those experiences of the past. Not just your own past, but the experiences of the past of humanity. The experiences of the ones that have come before us. That's where the power of the high priestess comes from. That's where the balance of justice comes from. You know, life might not have been fair before, but when we're fair to ourselves, when we find balance within, life is going to be more fair to us. So forgive those pains of the past. Forgive the ones that have come before us. Forgive the, um, the things in our own lives that have caused us to be angry with ourselves or doubt ourselves. Forgive them so we can trust our intuitions and be able to begin finding that success of the world. The more we trust ourselves, the more we can achieve our goals. And the more we achieve our goals, well, the more beautiful life can really be. So as always, I really want to thank you for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, personal readings are always available. You know, comment on this video, message me on any of the socials, or book one directly on my website. Thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you again in the next one.